Hello guys and welcome to another log of Digimon Vital Bracelet Frontier EX log and for today's log we have Fairy Mon. Yeah, we are going to log our Fairy Mon here. So let me just adjust the focus. I'm not sure why it keeps going in and out. So this is our first log. We're going to be hatching the Fairy Mon dim. So let's insert it. Waiting. We'll be accepting the dim in a minute. So yes. Um, so swiftly we have covered Blitzmon and Checkmon Dim. So now we are down to the last Frontier EX Dim. It is Fairymon. So let's see Fairymon's um, log. And we are hatching it. So coming to an end right after finishing our Frontier EX Dim. We will stop alternating between, you know, now we are alternating between Vital Bracer BE and Frontier EX set. But once we finish with this, it will just be everyday Vital Bracer BE content until we finish all that content, including our definitely the Digimon content. And I'm even going to cover the Demon Slayer one uh, before the app shuts down. So, yeah, let's go. It's going to hatch. Let's take it out. And let's insert the cover to protect it from any dust. That egg looks cute, very floral. And the Digimon is gonna hatch, yay! Now, anyway, before I continue today's vlog, just like to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets, you've come to the right channel because I document every Digimon that I raise and I upload at least twice a week. So, if you're interested in such content, go ahead and blow some adhesive bubbles from URAM on here and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, let's get down to today's vlog. Um, uh, in this case, since we have URAM on here already, let's change the background and let's capture its uh, sprite animations there's not much when it's a baby digimon it's just gonna be its idle animation here i think this is its walking animation i think it has a bit of walking animation the idol is probably here this is it idling bobbing up and down whereas the walking animation it's moving a little bit forward you can see here it's moving a little bit forward so yeah that's those are the only uh few animations you can capture Alternatively, it's it sleeping. So here's its sleeping animation. Really cute. I like it. With its eyes closed, it looks very peaceful. Uramon is one of my favorite baby Digimon back on the OG like version one to five. I think it looks really unique, and I have a special place for it because of Digimon World One. We'll talk more about that later. But those are its sprites animation. So since we are done with sprite animation, let's take a closer look at its sprite, shall we? Alright, and let's check out Uramon's profile here and as usual we start with etymology and origin of its name. Uramon's name comes from the Japanese term Yura Yura which is a descriptive word meaning swaying or shaking which kind of does match its profile pretty much. If you look at its Digimon.net profile, uh, Uramon is a seed Digimon covered in a soft furry substance all over its body when it hatches from its digit egg. Digitama, in other words, Uramon blows through the air like a dandelion seed seeking out an environment suited to its growth. When it finds a good environment devoid of enemies, it lands and begins preparations for evolution. Uramon has next to no attack strength, but can use adhesive bubble blow to interfere with enemy movement and give it a chance to escape. So this is what I was referring to when I talk about the other, other earlier logs, um, some of the newer and more advanced uh, newer um, description of the Digimon that are baby type. They tend to have some level of offensive capabilities, but for the babies, uh, Digimon that are from the OG generation, and Uramon is one of them, it has next to no offensive capability. Its attack is adhesive, bubble blow, and most it can slow the enemy down and give it a chance to escape. So that's what I was referring to, case in point. And um, yeah, do take note when you get Uramon on Digimon World 1, it's really cute and I really like it. Um, the 3D model was. Uh, adorable but it has next to no offensive abilities and unlike your virtual pet devices like Digimon or Digimon the brick device or Digimon pendulum or the vital bracelet for that matter those devices prevent you from actually engaging in battle for your baby Digimon but on Digimon World 1 they don't have that such safety mechanisms so if you have a baby Digimon and accidentally you run into a rookie level Digimon they're gonna get trashed they're gonna get defeated and they will <laughs> lose their life so don't don't take that risk uh, if you have a baby digimon they deserve protecting just 
keep away from any enemy Digimon until they are rookie level. So I can't believe I didn't talk about this so far in any of my logs. But yeah, uh, since we're done with profile, let's look at uh, evolution conditions. As usual, we look at humulos.com. It's my recommended website for your evolution condition needs. It's the reason why I'm able to uh, document Digimon from Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color. So uh, it's really useful. If you're ever stuck trying to raise a specific Digimon, not sure how to do it, go to humulos.com. So in this case, Euramon's evolution conditions is nothing. Just hatch it from your fairy mon dim and you will get a Euramon. Really straightforward. And that's its profit for its uh, profile and evolution conditions. We are done with this log for today for Euramon. And uh, first log for fairy mon. We are closing in on the Frontier EX uh, content soon and we will be finishing that up hopefully before the deadline. And yeah. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please go ahead and blow some adhesive bubble blow at the like and subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I have content for Vital Bracelet, Vital Bracelet BE, Digimon Color, Digimon Pendulum Color and the playlists are right here. So do check them out if you're interested. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!